This just in. All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, could it be that Tiffany Haddish has an album that she's working on to come out? Would you be excited to hear Tiffany Haddish? Singing or rapping? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, but here's what she had to say for Glamour. You know I'm working on an album now. It might be really great. It might not. But who cares, right? Well, I'm already living for that. Cardi B move over. Oh, well, you know, I'm trying to get her on a couple of tracks. We're going to get her. Oh! Oh, a comedy album. She's been working on that album, though. What yeah, kind of album? Yeah, she said it'll probably be the it's She music. Ready album or the She Ready Experience or the We Ready album. She's doing music. You heard it? You heard some of the joint? I heard a joint. How was it? It's cool. I heard a joint. Okay. She's been working on that, though, for a while. All right, well. I, I think Little Duval has inspired a lot of comedians to uh, make music. Mm. Amanda Seals got a record, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, Jamie Foxx has had a lot of music out. Yeah, but Jamie it. had real music, though. Like, Jamie <laughs> you Foxx... You don't think Little Duval's music is real? Eddie Murphy, well, yeah. Eddie Duvall, Murphy had yeah. Party All the Time and Boogie party in Your Butt. Time, Boogie in My Butt. You know, I love that one. It's called uh, In Your Butt, not In, in My Butt. butt. <laughs> no, it's just some couple couple bars in there. He's, everything is in his butt. Book <laughs> Magazine. In, oh, In Your Butt. In Your Butt. It exactly. Time, it's called Boogie in Your Butt. But it is one line where he says... I have the vinyl. He put a little something in his butt. He said his butt. I think it was a little boy, actually. <laughs> it was. Who want to bet? You want to you bet? I'm not nope. even a gambling man, but I bet you on that one. Nope. You're always making these bets, but I don't know if you'll ever really pay up <laughs> yeah. on that. Yeah. So I don't want to really bet with you. Yeah. Remember, the, remember the last <laughs> bet he made? What's the last bet he made? This is the last bet he made. If Takashi 69 beats this case, I'll suck his dick. That wasn't a bet. <laughs> Like that, that was a promise. That was, that was not a bad well, It goes promise. right along with what okay. you've been talking about just now. Uh, all, right. <laughs> all right. Okay, guys. Now, Cardi B <laughs> and Blueface have their Tatiana remix. And if y'all want to hear a snippet of how Cardi B sounds, sounds nice. Rouge, bitch, rule life. Everybody gang bang. No, they ain't real right. Get it right Since I came in the game, been a real one. Real one. And ain't this shit changed, bitch, I'm still one. So Blueface has posted the official remix. Tatiana, Cardi and YG verses are on that. Can you be a crip and have a blood on your record? Yeah. yeah. All the time people do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just make it. Just trying to figure out what the Nipsey, new rules are. Nipsey, YG do records oh, together yeah, all the time. You're right. You're right. You're right. All the time. All right. Now, Meek Mill versus Michael Rappaport. I don't even understand what... what just made Michael yeah, Rappaport feel like one. he could do this. But he put, Meek Mill, great story, great look, trash rapper, sorry. You make 300 songs, five will be okay. Hashtag Meek Mill. Meek Mill had a chance to prove he was a dope rapper and then came Drake. That was a moment to stand tall as a rapper. Like I said, great story, great look, probably going to do some positive stuff. None of that means you're a dope MC. Dragged by Drake. Where I'm from, if you get dragged by Drake and don't respond, you always will be whack. At least make it competitive. Re-up something. People catching feelings because you know I'm right about Meek Mill. And he said, when I say respond, I mean with something you can listen to more than once. Responding doesn't mean gobble, wobble, throttle. Then he said, I'm sorry seeing Meek Mill perform entirely offbeat again. This time at the All-Star Game got me in my feelings. Pun intended. I started by saying he's going to do good things in real life, just hopefully on beat. What did he do at the All-Star Game that was so bad? I, I, I watched his performance. I enjoyed watching Meek Mill perform. Listen, let's be clear. Michael Rappaport has every right to have that opinion, but let's be clear. Michael Rappaport is wrong. Okay, Meek Mill can rap his ass off. Well, I'm going to tell sure you how can. Meek responded, because then Michael Rappaport said Meek Mill isn't even a top 20 rapper from Philadelphia. Yeah, that's not That's, that's a lie. Not true. <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. I can, I can go through out the history of Philly, and Meek would probably... That's not a problem. Meek would definitely make top 10. Then Meek Mill posted, Hey, Michael Rappaport, don't ever use the word trash when you're speaking on nothing from our culture unless you're trying to get trash. Number two, who gave you authorization to be speaking on us? Number three, well, what you charging now? Last time I seen you, you wanted a selfie. Be great, though, on the net. Then he posted a picture of him and Michael Rappaport. It looks like Michael Rappaport's taking that selfie. Me, hey, yo, yo, who's this? Anonymous. I think it's the guy from White Men Can Jump. Him, Meek, you so fire. You give me that feeling what hip-hop is missing. I'm a fan. Can I get a selfie? Hurry up. Go ahead. And I don't follow him or know his name. I'm happy I didn't at him. I just don't understand why he's still talking about the Meek Drake situation. Like, that was so three... How they have a song and a video together now. Yeah. Let it go. I, I mean, confused. yes, at the time, three, four years ago, we were all very disappointed that Meek didn't get at Drake the way he should have with bars. But that don't mean Meek is whack. Meek is not whack at all. And the album Meek is dope. Is, Meek is a dope rapper. Like, if it's one thing Meek Mill could do is rap his ass up. All right. And that was never a question. Never. Nobody, right. Nobody's ever said that. Netflix has rap. canceled Marvel's The Punisher and Jessica Jones. They announced that it will be canceled. Um, and they just did debut The Punisher's second season. So I guess no more of that. Did you watch that, Charlamagne? Punisher yes, and all that? Yes, I sure did. did and you Jessica like it? Jones? Yes, I did. Oh. I like Punisher and Jessica Jones. But I mean, what happened, what's going on is like Disney has a screaming service now. I always say screaming. Like, screaming. yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. they're going to be screaming? What's the word? <laughs> streaming. <laughs> okay. 
that that right they got that kind of service so i mean all of those marvel properties will probably just end up on disney mm-hmm. more than likely let's hope so all right little baby congratulations to him he and his girlfriend jada have welcomed a newborn son so hey. congratulations to little baby on little baby little got little baby. baby little baby got little baby them ad libs gonna be really fired now you thought he could do wow 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 good before wait until he got one in the house <laughs> to really hear what them babies be saying all right, and T.I. is saying that his issues with Floyd Mayweather have nothing to do with Tiny, as some people have been trying to insinuate. Uh, here is T.I. It wasn't nice enough for her to stay. I don't give a I'm way or another. Saying, stop talking about it. I don't give a one way or another. When I pulled up on you, it didn't do with her. It had something to do with me, because me and you had something. We had an agreement. We had a discussion. You went against that, I pulled up. I ain't make no song about it. I pulled up. So if I had a problem still, guess what i do? i pull up again. <laughs> Yo, T.I. crazy. <laughs> T.I. crazy. T.I. has halted production on Family Hustle after his sister has landed in ICU as well. So our prayers are with you and your family at this time. His sister, Precious Harris, got into a very serious car accident in Atlanta mm. um, over the weekend. And both T.I. and Tiny are devastated. So they decided not to move forward with uh, filming at this point in time. So, again, our condolences to the family. All right, I'm Angela, and that is your rumor report.